Uh, yes, uh, so the background story is this, um, I was uh, told to come down because we've got a good mate called Magoo, who you lot know is Paul, right, and he's got good taste, and uh, fuck he's got good taste, that was not a usual gig in any way whatsoever, man. Unfortunately, half the audience were industry, which, you know, on, on one hand that's good for the band, on the other hand, you know, uh, a lot of people like looking cool, motherfucker. Luckily, I wasn't, all right, because uh, that band has the potential to make a lot of people lose their shit, particularly young people. They're going to lose their shit on that. You guys uh, change your change your rhythms, you know, and I was telling you earlier on, though, bruv, yeah? yeah. Uh, I, I, like, uh, I like it when uh, people change time signature, but they did it in such a subtle way. Everyone in that band means their shit. They mean it completely. Look at me, I'm fucking 50, all right? So I'm a punk rock. That's what it was all about, man, you know, you're just doing it because you mean it, because of the music, all right? Nothing to do with being famous, making money or any shit like that. They really meant it. They kept turning around, turning around, they're back on the audience, turning their backs to the fucking drummer. And they turn around and fucking doing it again, because they love the drummer, because uh, Johnny is his name, right? Yeah, that's Johnny's it. the real motherfucking coy, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, so look, look at me. No cocaine, I'm not on drugs. <laughs> right, I've only had two points. I really mean everything I'm saying. All power to you, all luck to you. Fucking beautiful motherfuckers. The gangs of Dublin. Come on, no! Hi, my name is Keelan Foley uh, from the Keelan Foley Music Blog. I'm here in Dublin with an uh, Irish four piece called Gangs. Just back from the uh, from a small tour in London. So guys, how'd you get on? Brilliant, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. yeah. yeah. So uh, you're playing in Dublin Castle. Uh, it's a big prestigious venue. Uh, how'd you find it? Um, yeah, it was pretty amazing. It was amazing. It was kind of like, because we've been planning it for quite a while. It was kind of, uh, it felt very special to play venues as iconic as that. And like a lot of fans that we looked up to play there and then for us to play it, not only play it, but play it as well as we did, was, uh, yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, you can like smell the bands in the front of the corner, like, oh yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, but it's brilliant, like, it's steeped in, like, bands that have gone before and, like, you can almost feel it in a way that it's, and the fact that we played there and we got good, such good reception and the encore and so, so on. Especially like, when uh, uh, crowds over there have been famous for, uh, you know, not being like bad, but it's being stiff, you know what I mean? And uh, the way that it went down, like, no one could have really seen that coming. I mean, the place just like filled up as soon as we went on. Very good. <laughs> they were they absolutely were good. Incredible. amazing. Incredible. I loved them. I really like the, the way you guys were on the same show. Oh, yeah, you're kind of matching. <laughs> but yeah, amazing. Yeah, so we have some dates coming up. We'll be playing see in Dublin, and Belfast, Cork, the Clan Gilby, the Bars, the famous venue, and uh, Kilkenny. And then uh, we're going to play a special show in uh, Book Lighthouse as well, so that's going to be fun. Lighthouse? Yeah. So, like, obviously this isn't that, uh, so this was done before by the band, uh, is this part of your style? You um, well, yeah, like, uh, it, I think it's just like we were trying to, we were, we're always about doing something, we're different to any other band, yeah. so we're always about doing something different, you know? We don't want to be a conventional band, and we don't want to, like, what we've done at this point has been conventional, even the way we, like, capture an audience, so playing gigs, and this show is going to be quite unique and I think it's something that people are really going to get into. We look at, at right now as, as we are as a band, as, this is a chance to play anywhere we want. We have control over where we can play now okay. before we go. So we want to play different venues where different people can come see us. So Book Lives is brilliant. Like, I mean, I don't know whether... It's just like 50 people that's going yeah. to be it. Like, yeah, it's like you, you go in and there's just like obviously circular room and you just go up two flights of stairs and just a big like round room, you know what I mean? So you're playing inside the lighthouse? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's in the lighthouse. You were saying oh, yeah. like, it's like yeah. some ashes, I think. Uh, it's got like four arches, so it's, it's gonna, gonna go down. Yeah. But like, yeah. There's been a couple of items. There's been a couple of gigs there, and they've been amazing. The oldest yeah. lighthouse in the world. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Do you know what's in the world? Yeah. Operating. Yeah. Oh, right. So you have like, one of Ireland's hottest new bands playing the oldest uh, functional lighthouse door. Functional lighthouse door.
Sunset, 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 sunset